Hello there, this is the fourth in a series of short videos from Informed Choice Limited um, supporting Financial Planning Week. My name is Nick Bamford, I'm Executive Director of Informed Choice Limited. And I'm Andrew Nelligan and I'm Financial Planning Director. Nick, I want to talk now about uh, planning for the future and uh, establishing some goals and how they can be achieved. What would you recommend clients do in that situation? Well, I think the first thing I've got to say is um, take suitable advice and get somebody to sit down with you and come up with well, a proper financial plan, really. Start asking yourself about what you're trying to achieve financially um, throughout the rest of your life and, and try to work out, really, what it's going to cost you to achieve all the things that you want. Uh, and, um, of course, it's not going to be inexpensive when you start to see some of the numbers that uh, financial planners like Absolutely. you, Andrew, come up with. Absolutely. And so what are the areas that I would be looking at um, particularly when it comes to implementing plans? Well, I guess you could sort of break it down into three um, distinct time frames. You could talk about short, medium and long term. Um, in the short term, we bang on about this all the time, the need to have a, an emergency fund. So that if something happens, you've got access to cash. In the more medium term, it might be about how you're using tax efficient product solutions, the likes of ISAs and things, to you know, build capital for the future. Um, and then in the longer term, it could well be about having enough in your pension pot so that when you get round to retirement, you know, you can continue to have a lifestyle post-retirement um, that you had pre-retirement. Um, all of this costs money and it's about prioritising the, the, the money you've got available to spend. Absolutely. So I've gone to see a competent financial planner uh, and they've got that plan in place. Is that it then? I let it go and I can know I'm um, like goals are going to be achieved? Well, you could certainly choose to do that, but I think you know you and I would argue quite strongly that you know the best plans are the ones that are reviewed on a regular basis so that you can bring changes into the equation. Um, probably not every six months, but certainly on a year-by-year -year basis, you want to sense check whether those financial plans you know, remain robust. So that would be looking at how they performed and how my circumstances have changed? Yeah, bringing those two things together really. Um, the worst investments, the worst savings that we ever come across are from people who, who made them in good faith and then just simply never reviewed them going forward. Fantastic. So to summarise out them, if you're planning for the future, make sure you've got clear goals which are uh, split between medium, short, medium and long term uh, and make sure you review them because your circumstances change and the investment markets change. Thank you very much.